Hey guys, today's video brings me an incredible amount of satisfaction and joy and happiness and all those positive feelings because today we have a semi coming to take away the farm's 100,000th bale sold this year. Let's go get them. This is a blend load to one of our brokers in South Carolina. So what I mean by blend is it's five different types of hay, which is no big deal. Um, we try to respect truckers' time, so when they get here, we don't want to scramble in and out through all the barns. So we're going to go round up all the hay and probably just throw it under cover in this barn right here. So it's out of the driveway and we can load them quickly. We try to get trucks in and out of here in less than 30 minutes unless we got a tarp. Then it takes a little more time. But if you build up good relationships with good uh, hauling outfits and you're not having their drivers sit here forever, they tend to come back and treat you well on price. So that's what we're all about. It takes us... 20 more minutes on the front end, but it, it's not a big deal if we can get the truck out of here and get on with our day a little bit faster too. Yeah, so that's not gonna work for a bit. Got the defrost cranking. So I got patient and I didn't wanna wait for the defroster, so I actually hopped in the other telehammer. Uh, this one has the large square, spear, large square bale spears on it. So I'm gonna take the path around the back side of the farm to our other barn, we call it a green barn, one driveway to the east of us and grab some large squares, which are also going in this order. As long as I don't hit anything. That looks a bit congested. That's okay, we'll just go in my mom's grass. That over there is the green barn I'm talking about. First grab a three. Got some weight. These are about 1,200 pounds, so this telehandler can definitely feel it, especially when I moved out. That's the baler that made these. Nasty Ferguson, baby. Grab numero dos. Coming at you. I cannot see it all. I mean, I am completely blind. Relying entirely on muscle memory to get me home. I think I'm going to shoot the gap this time. Oh boy. Not bad. And we have a hay customer waiting. Look at that. So honestly, 100,000th bale might be on that load because the margin's really close and I kind of did the calculations based on um, a gross, gross profit type deal and not the actual bale count. So there we go, might be right there. But that's a lot less cinematic than per se a semi, so we're gonna push the narrative that the that particular bale is gonna be on the semi. Grab number three. By the third trip, I'm getting a whole lot better at this. I can't see things. It's just a feeling deep in your bones. We basically had, uh, by, we had two varieties of third cutting in large squares. One was like a 70-30 heavier orchard alfalfa blend, and the other one is like 70 30 alfalfa to orchard, heavier alfalfa blend. So they want both in this load. And we're packed away a little bit tight in our arena over here. So I don't think the telehandler was gonna be able to weasel its way into a spot to grab some of those bales. So Justin threw the spears on the skid steer, which can literally turn on a dime, just like a zero turn lawnmower pretty much, and get himself into a situation to get those squares. Might have to do a little bit of cleaning here. So he's going to be able to grab these two just fine. And then the skid steer predicament is he won't really be able to reach over these pallets right here. What are you doing? Morning maintenance. Morning maintenance. Morning maintenance. Greasing up the telehandlers. M&Ms. You've been running them like crazy, so you got to keep them moved up. Well, the one, the older one, the computer system, like, failed or reset, it only has, like, 40 hours on it now. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's good for resale. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish we knew how to do that. Would you just look at that? Just look at it. Thank you, Sammy. If Carl doesn't get out of the way, I'm just going to smash him. Really? What's wrong with you today, huh? I'm done. You said you were done yesterday. I am. We got done. 
All you gotta do is get the head home. It's a combine. So what are you doing here? Hey, did, did you have fun this year? What? Did you have fun this year? Fun. <laughs> yeah, fun. F U N. Working every day? Yeah. It's not fun working all the time. I'm wow. only supposed to get that hour in a day. One like, hour a day. One hour. Here. So it pains me to admit when I was flat out wrong, but the skid steer couldn't really get into that spot either. So I'm gonna try to get creative with the telehandler here, and I, I think I can do it. I just, I don't really love picking up the large squares with this grapple. Um, I bent some of the tines a couple months ago, ripping a large square out of the large square baler, which is a whole lot different than standard procedure. But I still get scared, just because they're packed so tight. I think I can work some magic here. Come on. What are you thinking right now there, cowboy? I just pulled Carl nothing. Nothing I'm never again? Thinking anything. <laughs> Custom maneuver again. I think this is why they call me the Grappleman. Grappleman. It's not a grapple, it's a graffle, as Carl would tell you. Joe, you're in the way again. Oh, oh! Who put those up there? You. No. <laughs> who's that? Uh, maybe me. And who put the wagon right there? It might have been me. How come you always gotta get the hay that's buried? That's the question. Human nature. Okay. You want what you can't have. Right. I see that. Easy, Joe. Not bad. Almost like you've done it before. I'm going to start charging creative storage fees. <laughs> you should. <laughs> What's this bill? Well, it's a creative storage <laughs> And first on deck for the small squares is a little first cutting action. Nice and square. That's it. We're pulling out all the stops for the 100,000. Okay, this is a very special day. Look at that. Nice tight bundles. So we've got another customer here. Or that very well might be the 100,000 bale again, but we are gonna stick to the original narrative. That's what I woke up destined to accomplish. <laughs> what do you think? Green. Yeah, that's some pretty primo crap. The balance will be more large squares from the green barn, if we can fit more. So we should probably go get, grab like six more. Gotcha, gotcha. So we were supposed to load that one. The truckers called and we had to flip what we're doing. So now I'm scrambling getting the hay that's supposed to go in here that was going to go out tomorrow in there today. Makes sense. So I don't want to sound like a bridezilla on our wedding day, but my special day was ruined. I'm just kidding. But what happened is, I don't think you can decipher what I just said there. I knew what happened and I still don't even know what I was trying to say. So we had two trucks scheduled. Um, let's call it Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday's truck was just going to the broker's place. Wednesday's truck was going directly to a customer. Well, Wednesday's truck was gonna be severely delayed, like not coming until Friday or Saturday, and it needed to get there at a certain time because the customer had help and everything lined up and it was a special event. So we flip-flopped the trucks. Well, I didn't have Wednesday's truck all lined up and ready to go. It was several different types of hay too. So we ran around like chickens with their heads cut off and got it handled and I was placing them right before Justin was putting them in the truck. So we did get it squared away. The trucker didn't wait too long and it didn't go as planned. Farming never does. We're just swapping the order around. They don't want this. They want that. JB's scrambling to get it done. Here we are. I would say that Sam really did sum it up in a pretty nice fashion. He's right. They didn't want this, they want that, and here we are. All right, I'm gonna dump this to Sam Cam. Got Justin. Master Mott Loader. We got a 
line himself up square with the truck. So this is fairly tight tolerances here. Tip it down. Come on in. There we go. Snug as a bug. Under the rug. Maybe you can see JB back there. JB's behind the big arena barn. He is pulling the hay out, stacking it up in sets of threes, groups of nine, whatever you want to call it. And uh, Justin's picking them up here, loading them into our truck. Some of the best thing you can do is, uh, or what we're doing is we're lowering down the, 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 the tier of bundles. We're dropping down the, the bottom first and then angling the top in. So like I said, we drop the bottom down first, get it set, and then we angle the top in, and everything clears pretty good. It works out all right. Now Justin's gonna start pushing the whole load forward. All right, so we have JB bringing bundles around from the back. You like the camera, Sandy? I like being a cameraman. Getting ready to grab three of the nine bundles that JB staged up for him. Try to get a nice side view of this. Don't worry about it. Got some hostility between the workers here. Hostility, Carl. That's why the other time we pulled the one bale sideways. I thought he was doing that. Why are you so mean to Justin? Because someone, uh oh. Why got spectrum? Good grab. They look, they look square. FJB staging the bundles so Justin can grab them from the side. Squaring them up real nice. He's holding them so Justin can grab those. That's pretty cool, huh? We have the machines! Might, might as well use the machines instead of the man! We were very blessed to have two telehandlers. Without, without two, I don't know if we would really be able to get this done as quickly and efficiently as we are. Seven fifty-six. Okay, not exactly how we planned, but we made it work. Justin, Sam, and Carl bailed me out here. He actually caught me for a while until I put the last trio of nine together. Going down to the left. Scoops right in. Beautiful. Three different types of haze in there. Uh, that's what kind of takes so long. I'm pulling it from different ends of the barn. They did a great job of making sure it happened. And now we have this hay all prepped to go out on a load tomorrow. So it's easy. Now we got we don't have to do anything tomorrow morning. The last shove, man, 756. Is that it? Look at the leaf on that, Sammy. Gorgeous Ooh. hay. The final push down. Da -da -da -da. There you go. <laughs> That's Carl's speed run. Oh yeah. Fits in easy, like a glove. Good work. Full truck. Not a little full boost there. I feel bad he waited for a while, but you can't always predict the future. We're getting ready for the gooseneck. These are a lot easier to load. Yeah, check us out. 
go. Those things are long. I got a lot of respect for these guys. The trucker asked me if I was filming a music video. I said, no man, Farming Insider, check it out. Pretty crazy morning. <laughs> Nice looking boat. Forever home. 336. Get out of here. Whew. Now we're going to calm down for a second. Actually, no we're not. We're going to get after it again. <laughs>